Mm. Can you see my screen now? Yeah, I can. Okay. So this is all about that. So in a very uh, short time, uh, we just uh, read out all these and this is the number properties and probability, the combination of two type of the problem. So it's, uh, okay. well, let's see, the problem is very simple in a sense that we are just going to talk about this one. Please read this question if you can. Okay. Um, if two distinct integers, hold on, let me get my, okay. If two distinct integers A and B are picked from one through a hundred and multiplied, what is the probability that their um, number has exactly three factors? Oh, okay. So we have uh, these five choices. So let me explain okay. a little more. Uh, it's a uh, uh, one to hundred. So all these are the natural numbers, counting numbers. Okay. So starting from one ending at hundred, we have only hundred digits. And we will have right. to talk about the probability that uh, what is the probability that we are selecting those two numbers? What is the probability that the resulting number has exactly three factors? What I mean to say that e at random, if we are picking the number, that number, which must have only three factors. What I mean to say, only three factors. Uh, look at this, uh, just to understand this problem. If you are just uh, selecting one, so it has only one factor. If we are selecting two, it has two. If uh, we have, uh, we are selecting three, it has only two factors, one and three. If we are selecting four, we will get uh, two, one, four. So three factors. But what is uh, what type of the numbers? How many numbers? Just like that, that those numbers, if we are selecting a number, then it must okay. have only three factors. Are you getting this problem? Uh, I'm kind of confused, but uh, okay, okay, I'm trying okay. To let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Problem is this: that you have one hundred digits, starting from one to hundred. Okay. Okay. And uh, the question is that what is the probability that resulting number, if we are just picked, picked from this and multiplied, what is the, if two distinct integers A and B are picked, okay. Okay. actually we are picking two, uh, those two numbers, when we are picking those two and multiply we will get a third number. What is the right. probability that the resulting number, when we are picking two out of these hundreds, then we are right. multiplying it. Then what is the probability that the uh, answer, the multiplied, the uh, resulting number has exactly three factors, okay? So okay. we have these options. So I'm sure that it's very difficult just to get the answer right from here. So we will have to proceed step by step that what is actually going on over here. Yeah. So if you're just going to the next slide. So next is in the sense that what he is saying that is uh, what kind of the numbers have three factors. So first of all, we will have to uh, get uh, what we can say familiarization with those numbers. We will have to pick all those numbers which has uh, which have only three factors. So out of these hundred, we will have to count all those numbers which have only three factors. What kind of the numbers? So this okay. is the uh, first we will have to look at this. Right. So the first step is exactly the question is same, which is written over there that what type of the numbers have three factors. If two distinct okay. integers A and B are picked from one, two, three, 200 and multiplied, okay. first pick two numbers, then multiply. What is the probability right. that the resulting number has exactly three factors? So question is uh, all over there in front of us at the top. So let N, N is the product of the two numbers selected from this list. So A 
when we are multiplying those two numbers. Let's suppose we are selecting first number is A, the second one is B, then we are multiplying, we are getting N. So, 1 and N are two factors of N. So, here we don't know about the N, that what is the product of these two numbers and we have the product as N that when 1 and N are two factors of N. It's uh, obvious. Let X be the right. third factor of the N. So uh, we have picked two number. Then we multiply okay. those two A and B. We have the product N and we are letting, we are supposing that one and this number is itself the factors because one is a factor of every number and every number is itself is a factor of itself. Yeah, are two right. factors and let let once again supposition because it's a probability and all the time we are letting it we are supposing something in, right, in right. mathematics if you don't know any solution so we will have to start from that we will have to make use of supposition so uh, we are just uh, supposing this that x be the third factor of n so okay uh, uh, as per the problem we are selecting two numbers, A, B. We don't know about the two numbers, but uh, if we are multiplying, we are getting the product N. Once again, we are not sure about the N, but we can say that uh, one is a factor. Uh, of course, one is uh, surely the factor of N and N itself is uh, the factor of itself. And uh, one more is that we are just going to suppose that there is uh, one another number that is X. That is also the factor, the third factor of N and uh, other, uh, all these three are the total factors. So this is our supposition. We are just putting it uh, as a first case that we are visualizing the problem in this way. So we have a first picture in front of us. I'm sure th that's why I'm putting that this is the first uh, yeah. situation. Uh, let's see the next one is because N has exactly three vectors. So here we have supposed that the n has only the three factors. So, because n has exactly three factors, n has to be of the form x cross x, x multiplied by x. Now, okay. let me explain right. this one. Because uh, we have the product n, now one is the factor, n is the factor, and x, that must be the same number. Because okay. if X right. is di different. If X has two other than the factors, then we will get the fourth one. So just to yeah. avoid the fourth factor, we are just saying that uh, N has to be of the form X cross X. That is the third factor because first okay. is one, one is always everywhere. The second one is itself N, N is N. So we can uh, say N is a factor. And third one, which we are supposing that X is the third thing. Uh, so N must be the product of this. Because if we, let's suppose uh, X is two, so we will get two into two. So we have one and four and two. These are the three factors. But anyhow, we cannot say that uh, we are just selecting four. So N has to be of the form that X multiplied by X. So n is a perfect square. So n must be a perfect square. Okay, are you getting this? Yeah. So from here out of 100, we just concluded this one that we will have to count all those numbers, which are the perfect square. So the first action is that we will have to select those two numbers, which must fulfill this necessary condition that these two numbers selected selected at random must be the perfect square okay are you getting this yeah so we will have to select the number which must be the perfect square that that must okay. be the perfect square what i mean to say one can be selected one is a perfect square four can be selected eight can be selected uh, 64 can be selected, 49 can yeah. be selected. What I mean to say, there are so many numbers. So we will have to think about this that uh, whenever 
we are selecting the two numbers those must be the perfect square so one thing so this is the second clue so first we are starting from the supposition and on the base of this supposition we are just uh, getting this one that n whatsoever the product of those two numbers that must be the perfect square now oh, let's see third is what if x had p and q as its factor let's suppose if x is p and q has its factor so here okay. uh, what we were talking about that the uh, let x be the third factor and uh, that n must be the multiple of the x and itself and then this third situation is what if x had p and q as its factors so let's suppose we are not sure about the number but if uh, somebody asking that uh, what you are selecting the x it has itself two factors if you are selecting 4 x as a 4 4 4 the 16 so 4 has also three factors 1 2 and 4 itself so this okay. is the third scenario third condition uh, p and q will also be factors of n so uh, uh, n is uh, also x is a factor of n so its factor must be the factor of n are you getting this yeah factors of the factors anyhow so then n will have more than three factors so this supposition is not fitting our condition because in this way we will get more than three factors we will get more than three factors if we are factors, selecting yeah. the two numbers which has the product n and n is a perfect square of uh, two uh, numbers which has a perfect n is a perfect square so multiply it by itself we will get the n so in this way that n may be the further x may have more factorization uh, having uh, p and q the other two factors so in this way the factors will become more than three so this is not fitting to the given condition now let's see get uh, the fourth situation is if n has to have exactly three factors x cannot have factors other than one and x then, yeah okay, okay. so uh, in this way and the story is just coming uh, in this line that we will have to uh, put an extra condition on that. If we are selecting that perfect square, that must not be uh, be the factors. So it must have the prime number. What I mean to say that uh, factor X cannot have factors other than itself and one. So it must be that X must be that x is the factor of n here n so n has to be the form of x cross x so x multiplied by x so x must be a prime number so it must not have the other factors just like that so p and q must not be the factors only the one and itself so from here we can say that uh, the numbers we are selecting from uh, this list from 100 digits. So we will have to take care of this view that uh, whenever we are selecting the number, so that must be the prime number. Are you getting this? Yeah. Prime number. That must be the prime number. So when we are talking about all these situations, we have started from a supposition, then we are just uh, coming along this supposition then we are just eliminating this condition and then we are uh, coming up to the final stage what i mean to say that we will have to select the number whose product is a perfect square and once again that perfect scares the numbers must be the prime prime number so right. that must be the prime okay now let's see what's going on so x is a prime this was the star the most important thing is that must be and must be the perfect square of the 
prime numbers prime number right okay the next one is so n is the square of a prime number okay so from here what we have concluded from these four situations that whenever we are getting the product of the randomly uh, randomly selected two numbers two digits from 1 to 100 so that product must be the perfect square of a prime number are you getting right. this so that yeah. must be the perfect uh, you know 49 is the square root what i mean to say 49 is a perfect square of what of 7 7 and 7 is a prime number okay right so uh, this, this is just for the example and there are so many others 169 is a perfect square of 13 and 13 right. is a prime number am i right yeah Four is a perfect square of two, and two is a prime number. So, right. in this way, we can get so many prime numbers, so many per prime yeah. numbers, which are the perfect square of something, of uh, some prime numbers. So, anyhow, this is the very important information that whatsoever the number we are selecting, their product n must be the square of a prime number. Okay? I'm sure you are with me. Yeah, I'm getting stage. it now. So uh, till yeah. this stage, you are with me. Yep. Okay. So if you are keeping all these things, we are just uh, moving forward. So number one, N, that is a product of two randomly selected digits from one to hundred. They're both A and B are distinct. So they must be the distinct number. So number two, n has three factors, one n and x, one n itself and x. So n is equal to x dot x, x multiplied by x itself or n one to n, one to n. What I mean to say, the only two factors and third one is the x and x further can be multiplied by itself. But anyhow, till now we have x is a factor, one is a factor, and n itself is a factor. So in this way, okay. the third third the conclusion was A and B have to have to therefore be one and n as a, as A and B are distinct. So A and B have to therefore be one and n as a and b are distinct so only distinct number they out of this x is x x a and n so one and n as a and b are distinct okay the fourth situation was so n is the square of a prime number and lies between one and hundred inclusive so out of the first 100 digits, natural number, we will have to select that n. Having all these four properties, that it must be out of 100, it must have the distinct one, it must be the perfect square of itself, it uh, right. must be the product of two distinct numbers. So these are the four conditions. Now, just coming back to this. So list of possible values that n can take. So we are just going to okay. list the values, some values. And uh, from these few values, we will make a pattern. We'll come to know what okay. is the pattern of that. So let's see, list of possible value that N can take. So two raised four, two, four. So three raised four, two, N. Right. And uh, five raised to power two, 25. Now let's see, okay. uh, these are uh, two is a prime number, three is a prime number, five is a prime number, am I right? Yeah. And the square of prime number is this one, is a perfect square, four is a perfect square. So square of other prime number is a square, perfect square. And right. the square of third prime number, once again, this is a perfect square, am I right? So yeah. perfect square is a number which ha, which when it is multiplied by itself, we will get that product. So in this way, uh, the possible values that n can take 
that may be two, three, and five. So these are all the prime numbers. And one more is seven. Once again, seven is a prime number and it is also a perfect square of 49. 49 is a perfect square. 49 is a perfect square. So four is a perfect square. Nine is a perfect square. 25 is a perfect square. And these are the perfect squares of what we can say the prime numbers. So n can take four values. So in this way, look at this. So n can take four values. Now let's see, coming to the next. So finding the required probability. Now, uh, in the first part of the problem, we were just deciding that what type of the numbers, what type of the digits we will have to select from uh, those, uh, that list, that first 100 digits. So in the first part, we have decided that they, it must be the square of a prime number. Okay, are you getting this? Yeah. So this uh, first part was all about the nature of the digits that what are those digits we are interested to select at random from the 100 first numbers. Anyhow, the second is finding the required probability. Now coming to the uh, solution to the problem that we are actually uh, looking for the probability. The question is of probability. So in this part, the second part is finding the required probability. So let's see. So once again, the question is over there. I, uh, I'll write expression to the required probability. So probability, as you know, favorable outcomes, total number of outcomes. Am I right? Can right. you recall this? Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Probability is favorable outcomes divided by total number of uh, outcomes. Let's suppose if I am giving you a coin and asking just to throw it, and what is the yeah. probability of coming tail or head? So you will say 50%. How you come to this? That head can occur only what we can say. One side is head, the second side is tail. So we have the total number of outcomes only two when we are throwing a coin, a coin when we are tossing a coin. So probability of head is one out of two. So favorable number is that is one and out of right. two, two possibilities two similarly yeah. if we are throwing a dice that has six phases and it right. is one two three four five six so if you are asking what is the probability that it must be a three so three that can come only one that one phase is just marked as a three out of six phases so one over six is the probability of that outcome. Similarly, one over two. So from here we can say, this is a basic definition, the favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. Now look at this probability, number of outcomes in which the product of the selected two has exactly three factors and number of ways of selecting distinct integers from 100. Are you getting this? So we are coming to the problem. Okay. Okay. Because yep. uh, this is uh, oh, total number is hundred. This is the given. So total outcomes is hundred. But number of outcomes in which product of selected two exactly has three factors. So this is the condition. Right. So we will have to write that. Anyhow, look at this. So denominator. We are just uh, finding the denominator. Numerator is over there, the uh, favorable outcomes. Denominator is the total number of outcomes. It's a very simple. Number of ways of selecting two distinct positive integers from one to 100, that is 100 combination C. 100 combination two, 100, co because we are selecting. So uh, let me explain this one. Uh, there is a combination. So what we can say is just like that, that n combination two, this can be written. And as per the definition, this can be written as n and n minus one factorial 
and the next one is 2 into 1 factorial. What I mean to say, actually this is n combination r. This can be written as n into n minus 1 and so on so on and r and r minus 1 and so on so on. So this will go up to 1. So this is the definition of combination. Are you getting this combination? Yeah. Okay. So this, this is actually 100 combination C. So as per this definition, we have 100 combination 2. So that must be 100 then multiplied by 99, one less. Then this is 2 into 1. Okay, are you getting this? Yeah. So this is all about the, what I mean to say, the explanation of the combination. So just moving to the next. Okay. So when we are just, uh, so this is all about the combination, the denominator. That how many favorable outcomes? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. And we are just selecting two. So that's why the denominator is the combination of 100. So this is just like that. 100 combination two is 100, right. 99. And one into two, two into one. That is, okay. two is with this 50, nine, 50 okay. into 99. So this right. is the total out possible outcomes. That is the NS, the total sample space the total outcomes as right i was giving the example that when we are tossing a coin so we have only two possibilities so total right, number yeah. of outcome is two so this is a combination because out of 100 numbers they can be combined in this way because every time we are selecting two at random two at random two at random every time so how many combination we can get out of these 100 numbers this can be determined by this way. So 50 into 99. So these are, this quantity is the total possible outcomes, total possible combination of selecting two numbers. So that's why this is just like that. But anyhow, the next is the number of ways in which the product of the numbers selected has exactly three factors. So this is the numerator now, but we, we, we are looking for that that we will have to select the combinations uh, from this list in such a way that every time we are selecting the two numbers, the product must have the three factors only. That is values that n a into b, the product of those two numbers selected at random must have the product n. Can take four, that is the square root of a prime number two and a perfect square of three that is a prime number then five that is the perfect square of another prime number five and 49 is the perfect square of seven that seven is once again a prime number so these are the, what we can say, the events favorable to our selecting, selection. Right. So the okay. number of ways of expression four as a product of two distinct integer is only. So if you are selecting four, so one into four, that is. Yeah. The same holds good for three numbers as well. Each has only one way. So numerator total number of ways four. Total number of ways is four. Look at this one, two, three, four. Are you getting this? Yeah. Okay. So that's why required probability is the total favorable ways is four. And total outcomes total 50 we have seen in the last slide are you getting this yeah so we are we can simplify this 2 to the 4 and 225 is 50 oh right yeah yeah 
so you will get this yeah so this is also included as a p so choice okay. b is the answer are you getting this okay okay so yeah yeah i got it i got it okay the, the problem was that look at this that uh, you will have to select the two numbers in such a way when we are multiplying the product must have only three factors only three factors and we know that that the each number when we are selecting only the prime numbers and when we are scaring that prime numbers that we will get the perfect scare because in this way that perfect scare has the only one number which is being scared to get that and right. if that number is a prime also so it must have only two divisor two factors one itself uh, one and the digit itself so in, in okay. this pattern the first prime number is two and two uh, is uh, what we can say four four is a perfect square of two uh, and similarly the three three is a prime number so we have only total four possible ways four combinations to select the random number only two numbers randomly selected that fulfilling all these conditions so this is the probability but i means to say uh, this this is also included in so many exams so that is coming gmat and also gre and also act and somewhere in sad so this is the combination yeah. of the probability and the properties of the numbers so for easy learning we can say that first we will have to think about the prime numbers then we will have to think about the perfect squares and then uh, we should come to the probability portion that what is the probability of the event so what we can say right so that's why we can say this is all about that so uh, to, uh, tomorrow i will be also will show if i will get the time so or the only thing is yeah. that sometimes the whatsapp is not connected so you must have to be on zoom that i will see you i have the agenda, okay. uh, id at i will i also have added you uh, on my yeah. contact list at zoom so when you will be over there so that circle will be green i will come yeah, okay. that you are online i will send uh, the invitation over there and we will be all together at anyhow it's uh, just uh, what we can say i will send all these slides and also the recap video of this for two or three minutes so you can recap all these things uh, when you're away from that and you, you must have all these slides with you so you can think about that if uh, the questions just like that are over there so you will have to recall all these things so it's a time to say goodbye so thank you very much. Okay. So uh, tomorrow, inshallah, we will meet again and okay. talk about some more problems. So, okay. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.